this hot spring project will bolster tourism in the town and we have heard from a uh, special administrator uh, the various activities that will be around this project. And above all, we are here to conserve and protect the geothermal pool. Ladies and gentlemen, we were here in January this year to discuss the project concept and how it will benefit the Sabu Sabu community. I'm glad that we have gathered here today to proceed with the groundbreaking of the hot spring project. This project is aimed to protect, enhance, and develop the Sabu Sabu Thermal Hot Spring. Geothermal features such as hot spring are fragile and easily damaged, especially by human action. And uh, Mr. Kohli has explained exactly how we can ruin our hot spring. Uh, and that was how we were treating our hot spring for, for quite some time, till the people of Sabu Sabu uh, came up and, and did whatever they did in this little area. And today we're just going one step higher with this project. So um, we, need to, we need to protect this hot spring because very seldom do you find hot spring in a town vicinity. And uh, Sabu Sabu is uh, lucky to have hot spring which is so close to our town. That means uh, at a walking distance people can come here, enjoy the facilities and do whatever they have to do and they can go back to their homes. So it is definitely a very good project. And this project is very much in line with Blue Town concept as described by uh, Doreen Miller. But above all, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank each one of you for your contribution. And I do not hesitate to repeat what I repeated last time. Sabu Sabu is the only town that I have come across where I see the Chamber of Commerce, the Sabu Sabu uh, Tourism Association working hand in hand with uh, the town council. And such a relationship we encourage in other towns and cities, but we haven't seen uh, to the level it has developed in, in Sabu Sabu. So thank you all for your contribution, thank you for your vision, and thank you for supporting uh, Sabu Sabu Town Council. Ladies and gentlemen, we cannot forget the support of the Commonwealth Local Government Forum, CLGF, towards this project. This project is supported by CLGF and European Union. It is part of a Commonwealth-wide program to promote the role of local government in local economic development. Fiji was selected as the pilot country in the Pacific with Sabu Sabu and Nasinu and Osori Corridor chosen uh, as the project locations. The CLGF project aims to promote sustainable approaches to local economic development by empowering local government institutions to work with the local businesses and key stakeholders to improve economic activity. And we want to see more of this happening in each and every uh, towns and cities, particularly after COVID-19, where we need to revive our economy. And, and again, if the town councils work hand in hand with business community and other organizations in, and institutions, they'll be able to come up with better projects and they'll be able to create this economic activity which is very much needed in uh, all our towns and cities. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Sabu Sabu Hot Spring project, it aligns to the five-year and 20-year national development plan uh, and our theme in this development plan is for transforming Fiji. The NDP proposes a diversified and broader economic base, particularly the growth of micro, small, and medium enterprise development, and the development of niche products and services. And I am encouraged by the commitment made by the Sabu Sabu Town Council to improve the livelihoods, aid economic activity, and achieve economic resilience. I wish Sabu Sabu Town Council and the people of Sabu Sabu all the best for Sabu Sabu Hot Spring Project. And uh, we're all looking forward to more ideas from the people of Sabu Sabu as to how we can uh, 
improve the facilities in Savo Savo Town Council so that we can attract more visitors to Savo Savo and particularly encourage uh, local tourism. Uh, I've heard that the people of uh, Lambasa, they normally come for long weekends to Savo Savo. And we, we need to encourage people from Viti Levu to come to Savo Savo as well. But for Easter break, I know there are a lot of people from Viti Levu who have booked hotels in Savo Savo and they will be spending the Easter here. So, so long as we are able to add more projects, so long as we are able to beautify Savo Savo, create this eco-friendly environment, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to attract more people coming over to Savo Savo. So with these words, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to more projects uh, from the people of uh, Savo Savo, Vinaka.